Hello, today we're going to be over how to add a slideshow to your homepage. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials, give you the keys to web presence, put you in the fast lane of success, learn more on our website uh, at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. There's a whole bunch more there. Uh, that will get started. A few weeks ago, well, it's probably a little longer than that, we made a video about how to add a homepage slideshow using WP-Cycle. Um, that's what's on my this little test site right now. So say you want to, there are some advantages to this other plugin we're going to show you how to use. You can more easily reorder the slides. Um, there's also a little, a, a few more cool little styling things that you can do that are a little bit better than just using um, this because this kind of just looks like it's floating in the middle of nowhere and uh, you want to try to do a little bit more than that. So first thing I'm going to do is log into my site. All right, hit log in. It would help to put the right password. If at any time you want to skip ahead, maybe you already have this plugin and you're just stuck in a step and you don't know what you're doing wrong, just you can go right ahead and look in the table of contents below. We're going to install the plugin now. Add new. You're going to search easing slider. I've also put a link to download it directly in the description if you'd rather do that. Uh, or you can just search using slider. Um, I prefer to do it this way, <laughs> whenever I can anyway. I'm just going to activate that plugin. That was easing slider. Once that's installed, you're going to see that there is a little link in this here called easing slider under settings. So I'm just going to click that. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to use custom images, which is this tab. Uh, before you can do, um, before you can use custom images, you, well, the first thing we're going to go is go to usage settings. All right, so that's this tab here. Click on usage settings. Scroll down, get images from. And you're going to do custom images. Okay. Hit save. Just make sure that's uh, okay. That's the case. All right. Now I'm going to go. I'm going to go into slider settings. I want to adjust uh, just the size, 480 by 185. Not bad. I'm going to make it a little taller than that. Um, you can mess around with that more on your own for the appropriate size for your page. Um, and we'll go over a few more of the options at the end. So if you just want to put it on your page and move on, that's fine. If you want to stick around at the end to go over the options, then you can do that. Uh, to add the images to the slideshow, um, you're going to want to do image path. And to get that is you're going to need to upload images and take their file URLs. So I'm just going to go to my media library up here. I already have the images that I want to put in the slideshow. So I'm going to go to that. This is one of them. I'm going to open that, hit edit. If you haven't already uploaded it, you do add new. And uh, I'm sure you can take it from there. <laughs> And anyway, after you upload that image, or after you hit edit, you're going to see this screen. You see the little thumbnail of the image, title, alt text. And what you're going to want to do is go to File URL. You're going to double click in there. I actually triple clicked, but just make it so it highlights the whole, this whole link. Hit copy. Go back to your easing slider settings. All right. And go to image path. That's the one you want. Paste. All right, now I'm going to hit save. So I'll hit save right there. And then, you, then you'll see your image appear right there. Um, it is better to try to resize these images before you drop them into the slider. But this plugin does re automatically resize them for you, which is pretty nice. But to get it to look the exact way you want, it is recommended to resize them to the actual size of the slider itself that you're going to define in the settings. So that was one. Um, let's find another. Uh, let's see, going down. Um, what else can I put in here? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. So I'm just going to say, how about that one? All right, same thing. File URL. And go back here, put it into the path. Okay, you can also 
in, when, in this part that says image link, you can make it so if somebody clicks on that image in the slider, it goes to a page within your site or to whatever you want. If you wanted for some reason to, for it to go to a, a different website, you could put that link in there also. All right. Now we want to add it to our home page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pages and I'm going to go to home. So you can see that I have the WP cycle in there now. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to put an easing slider. And that's also in the description, that short code. Hit update. All right, and hit view page. And there it is. And you can notice it is a little bit cooler looking in my opinion with this little border and the, the two uh, navigation bubbles instead of just having the pictures floating in space. Let's go over a few of the options before we wrap it up here. Uh, go to the left, hit easing slider. Uh, say you don't want that arc, you don't want this uh, little thing under it, you don't want any of that styling. You can say, um, actually I guess you have to have it but it can be large or small. So I would just have it on arc keep going down you can change how how fast it transitions you can change the size uh, this is the setting one to show you uh, slide I don't like slide I think it looks stupid <laughs> to be honest I don't like how it goes like that I prefer fade myself but there are some other options you can do swipe bounce we're gonna do fade uh, you can increase or decrease the border width that's this right here uh, scroll down, paginations, those little icons, people like those so they can skip from slide to slide also is a good good way for them to know that there are other slides. Uh, transition speed, how fast they switch. Um, Alright, how, how long each image is displayed for, I'm at four seconds. If you had bigger slides with text on it, you might want to slow them down. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to save. I'm gonna refresh my home page. All right, and you can see that this is now just a fade instead of a, a slide. Okay, if I wanted to make that um, fade a little slower, I can probably do so. I'm gonna try and I can put it right here. Maybe put it in 1600 and see if that makes a difference. Let's wait and watch. Yeah, so you see it's a little bit more of a fade. All right, so this is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials. Give you your keys to your web presence and put you in the fast lane to success. Uh, there's a whole bunch more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. All right, so good luck with this. If you need any help, just let us know, and we'll be glad to.